Alright guys, welcome back to another SITS hybrid video. You know the deal, I know the deal, there's new hybrids, I'm gonna go through all of them and tell them what their pros and cons are. So let's go! So for the Type 4 hybrids, there's currently only one new Type 4 hybrid, which is the Atrofly. Basically a mixture between the Atropolera and the Dragonfly. So what can it do? Well first it can fly obviously, and it flies at a decently fast speed, has a normal bite non torpedity bite attack, and the most unique feature of this is that when you press right click, you can start spitting a poison. So why is this type 4 hybrid good for? Well, first of all, it is a type 4 hybrid, hence it is a very good early flying mount. Secondly, it is also good for new players to go and raid metal tier bases, as we all know that Ark is infamous for having like metal tier bases or even higher just destroying newbies. Hence this is a good countermeasure for those newbies to get back at them. And the last pros of it is that it can be picked up so it's also an emergency flying mount when needed. However, one big con of it is that it does have low torpidity so the moment it gets hit by even a simple thing for example a horse kick or a Pachi's charge, it will get knocked out immediately. So watch out for that when you're flying it. <laughs> Alright next up is the Type 3 hybrid. There are two new Type 3 hybrids this round, the Caliorex and the Araniasus. Alright, first up is the Aranea Curse. The Aranea Curse is a hybrid between an Araneo and an Achatina. So what can this hybrid do? Well first, its left click attack is a basic bite attack that does increase torpidity. However, the torpidity increase isn't that high, so it's not really suited for taking features. Second, its right click attack is a balls, acid ball spitting attack where it will slow the creature uh, tremendously while damaging it also. So this is a good mixture between damage and slow. Then its last attack is a lunge attack, where it will deal more damage than the left click attack and does not induce stability. Alright, so what is this creature good for? Well, first it is actually good for surprise attacks, as the creature is mainly a... similar to how a trapdoor spider is, lie in wait until the prey comes and then you lunge at it, but in this case you don't lunge at it, you throw slime balls at it to slow it down, and then you walk up to it to do the finishing move. However, what this creature isn't good at is actually being a taming mount. Despite having a torpidity inducing bite, it does not race exactly very fast, so you are more likely to kill the creature first or you dying first before you actually sleep the creature. Hence, this is more of an offensive creature rather than a utility creature. Next up on the list is the Caliorex, a mixture between a Eutyranus and an Ankylosaurus. So what can this Caliorex do? Well first and foremost, the realest thing it can do is actually jump. Yeah, an Ankylosaurus can jump, that's kind of weird. And second thing is that it has it retains its tail strike from the Ankylosaurus. However, the tail strike only harvests trees as it can't really harvest, as you can tell, metal or rocks. And its left click attack is a normal bite attack. However, it does have a special ability that only it has, and that's the ability to put rage on other creatures by just looking at it and pressing right click. Once that happens, uh, the creature will be feared and running away, and by right, the other creatures in the area are supposed to attack that creature. However, it's currently kind of bugged, so it can't really be shown at this point. So what does this creature excel in? Well, it excels in a travel mount, as its right click ability, once fixed, can actually be extremely helpful in traveling, where if there's a dangerous creature in a way, just sick all the other wild dinosaurs at that particular creature. However, just be aware that uh, if it's a hurt, hurt creature, uh, prepare to fight a bit more, as uh, the hurt creatures will come hunting for you instead rather than its own uh, friend. However, what it does not excel in is being a gatherer creature despite being an Ankylosaurus. So try not to use this to gather any materials. Use the other Ankylosaurus hybrid instead, that's better. Alright, next up on the list is the Type 1 hybrid. Sadly, we don't have any Type 2 hybrids at the moment, but we do have one extra Type 1 hybrid. And the Type 1 hybrid is the mixture between the two most famous creatures of the Jurassic Park film, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Spinosaurus. Because the raptor has already been made. So what can this hybrid do? Well, this hybrid basically functions like a Rex. 
it has a bite attack that has just a slightly further range, as I'm gonna show here. Yep, as shown here. And it retains its standard Rex Raw, as shown here. So you might be thinking, well, this is just having a Rex with extra steps, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. As you all should know, the Rex actually has a weakness against water, as it is quite slow in water. This hybrid removes that weakness, as it's now very, very fast in water. So this is a quite a big feat for the Rex, as this basically gives it virtually no weakness, so to speak as it can not only swim in water, it also can swim on land. So basically a Rex best of both world kind of audio. So what is this creature good for? Well, it is good for two things, water rates and traveling. It's good for water rates now as it's currently able to swim in water at a decently fast speed. So any of those pesky water bases that you really want to raid but you do not have any Mosasaurus for, this is your second best bet. Next it is a good travelling mount as it can move decently fast on land and also decently fast in the water since the weakness of moving slow in the water has now been removed. So this is a good travelling companion for you. However one con about it is that it actually does not retain the hydration buff from the Spinosaurus so just need to keep, out, keep a look out on that and not believe that you are actually moving faster. Alright, next up we have a new category of hybrid called the Type S Hybrids. The Type S Hybrid includes two hybrids. First is the Macro Circle Draco, which is a hybrid between the Giga, the Stego, and the Sarko. So what can this beast of a creature do? Well, first its basic attack is a bite attack, but it does have a chance of doing a double hit. So it is more of a luck thing rather than a uh, mechanics thing, so yeah. So when you press C, it's more of a storm attack, where you storm on the ground and deal damage in the area around you. This is more for any creatures that are surrounding you or below you, and you can't really like hit it. So this actually removes the weakness from any other large creature that can't hit any creatures below it. And when you press right click, you do a tail swing. The tail swing does not do damage, however, it's more of the rocks that flies up from that tail swing that does the damage as shown here. So why is this creature good for? Well, first of all, this creature is definitely a good traveling mount because I don't think anything wants to touch you when you're riding this. Secondly, it is definitely a great raiding creature as not only does it deal quite a hefty amount of damage, it can actually, it can actually throw rocks. Not one, not two, but multiple rocks in fact. So if it's a base in front of you, just keep pressing that right click button until it dies. However, what it does lack in is its lack in stamina, as it can't really do much without getting tired immediately, so you just have to watch out or increase the stamina stats for this particular creature. Well, next up on the list is this one hell of a creature called the Leviathan Constrictor. It is a mixture between the Basilisk, Reaper, and Eel. What he was thinking of make combining all these three creatures together is him but god damn this creature is scary as hell. So what can this creature do? Well his first left click attack is a standard bite attack which has a fairly big range but let's ignore that range for now. So when you press C it actually deals an electric shock around it, dealing damage to everything surrounding it. Then when you press right click it is just an aesthetic roll. So what can this beast of a creature do? Well first, it is a very good underwater travelling companion as I'm pretty damn sure you are very safe with this creature as it deals a ton of damage to anything around it and the only lacking thing that you will probably encounter would be its lack in stamina. It is also a very good alpha hunter as it can make quick work of any alpha creatures, for example the alpha mosa, alpha megalodon, you name it, it can probably kill it very fast. And last of all, why you should get this creature? Look at it, here it's raw, it is called Leviathan Constrictor, why would you not want this creature? Yeah. And lastly we have a new type of creatures called the Operation Creature. This is categorized under Operation Exo. It 
is named the Gigalophosaura and is a mixture between a ton of creatures. As you can tell, it looks like it's a mixture between a Spinosaurus, a Rex, a Dimorphodon kind of thing, a Tapajara, a, a Atropleura, basically a lot, a lot, a lot of creatures mixed together. So what can this creature do? Well, its first left hand attack is a standard fight attack. Its C attack, however, is a hit butt attack. This hit butt, this hit butt attack, I reckon, is a more raiding kind of attack as it's able to probably smash through quite a lot of terrain. And its right click is just a very good cool attack as well. So what does this monster of a creature excel in? Well, it definitely excels in raiding as it not only does its hitbutt deal an immense amount of damage, it also can make quick work of quite a lot of creatures, uh, probably not the Giga, but it probably is a worthy contender against the Giga depending on how much damage it does. However, one con of it is that it is a slow creature, so when raiding, just keep in mind that it should be in front and not behind. So yeah, I've come to the end of another SIDS hybrid video, I promise I'll be making a different mod video in the future but for now as long as that man churns out more hybrid i'll be churning out more of this kind of video because all the hybrids it makes i can't stress enough are so damn good bug as they are they are very creative so do like comment and subscribe and just comment down below like what hybrid do you think should come out next because in my opinion i think there should be a hybrid that Incl it's inclusive of the Triceratops as I've not seen a Triceratops hybrid yet. So yeah, this is Castle Gaming and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.